Guys, I felt so compelled to sit down today and film this video and let me explain to you why. There is one mistake that so many content creators are making that I am consistently having to give the advice that I'm about to give in this video to tens if not hundreds of people on a monthly basis. So whenever I come across a mistake that's being so widely used, I have to sit down and I have to film a video about it. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the number one mistake that content creators are making and I'm gonna be helping you ensure that you do not make the same mistake. This video is very kindly sponsored by Uscreen. More about them a little bit later. And before we get into it, if you've not hit the subscribe button yet, can you please go ahead and do so? Because I upload new content like this every single week. Okay, so what is this mistake? Two words, reoccurring revenue. So to be clear, the mistake is not that you have reoccurring revenue, the mistake is that you don't have reoccurring revenue. What do I mean by reoccurring revenue? I'm referring to an income stream that you have set up which allows you to earn money on a monthly basis and allows you to predict how much money you're going to earn on a monthly basis. This is something that most creators do not have yet. So keep in mind, when I say reoccurring revenue, I'm not referring to your ability to get a new brand partner every month. That is not reoccurring revenue, right? I'm not referring referring to your ability to sell five ebooks every month. Again, that's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to an income stream that is literally set up to give you monthly income and it doesn't rely on you having to proactively sell either a product or yourself through a pitch in order for you to earn money. So why is it so important to establish some form of reoccurring revenue? Well, without reoccurring revenue, you will more than likely experience one or both of these pitfalls. The first one is that you will establish a fear of going full time as a content creator because your income will consistently be inconsistent and that will lead you to feel like you can't quit your full-time job to pursue this as a career simply because you don't know how much money you're going to earn as a content creator every single month and most of us need to know roughly how much we're going to earn so that we can do things like pay for our mortgages pay for uber eats <laughs> buy that Zara dress you like, <laughs> you know, the essentials. On the flip side, there'll be people who are full-time content creators and might consider quitting it as a career and going back to their job because they require more stable income. So you see how you will likely experience one of these issues at some point during your career. Either the lack of reoccurring revenue will stop you from quitting your full-time job or it will force you to go back in to your full-time job. Either way, it's not a result that any of us want. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the topic to ensure that you you don't end up making the same mistake. So here are some things to be aware of to ensure that you don't fall into the trap of not having reoccurring revenue. The first thing is to avoid relying on brand partnerships too much. So a lot of content creators work with brands in order to earn income and I'm all for that. I work with brands all the time, I love working with brands. However, when you work with brands, you are asking for inconsistent income. Even if you're super organized and you know exactly what month you're due to get paid from which brand, that doesn't mean that you're gonna get consistent income from your brand partnership. Brands pay you on different payment terms. A brand might pay you within a week. Another brand might take six months to pay you. And yes, those types of payment terms do exist. Last year, it took me six months to get paid for a piece of work that I did for a brand. So some brands can actually take that long to pay you. In addition to that, you won't always have brand partnerships going in every single month. Maybe you've gone on vacation one month. Maybe you don't feel like working with brands one month. That's totally fine. But you've got to bear in mind that if you ever decide to take breaks like that from brand partnerships, you might end up having several months in a row where you're not earning anything. Over the past 12 months, my business has earned over $100,000 from brand partnerships, which is insane. Now, it might surprise you to know that I went several months over the past year where I didn't make anything from brand partnerships. So that is $100,000 in brand partnerships, yet there were several months where I was earning zero, and that was because I was getting a late payment or because I didn't do a brand partnership in the previous month. So that just brings to life how inconsistent your income will be if you solely rely on working with brands. In addition to this, a lot of creators would have been presented with the opportunity to create some kind of reoccurring revenue for their business in the past. And more often than not, we turn it down. And the reason why is because we adopt this short-term mindset. We're like, yeah, we can set up reoccurring income, like creating a membership, but we don't wanna do that because it's gonna take so much work. So we're like, oh, I could do that, or I could just work with another brand this month. <laughs> so we adapt this short-term mindset. And honestly, the key to long-term business growth and success is having a long-term mindset doing things for the future of you and your business rather than the here and now. 
Lastly, a lot of people listening to this will think, okay, well, reoccurring revenue sounds great, but it's just not realistic for my niche. A lot of people put up that mental barrier into their mind because it allows them to stay in their comfort zone. So if you tell yourself, oh yeah, well, I mean, I'd love to do a membership, but it doesn't work for my niche, then that gives you permission to never do the membership, right? Instead of thinking, how do I make this work for my niche? And if you're wondering, stick with me because I'm about to give you some examples of how you can do that. Okay, so I'm about to share my two favorite ways of establishing reoccurring revenue for your business and as a creator. The first is by establishing long-term partnerships. I have to throw that in there because I know some of you will be listening thinking, I just wanna do partnerships, Jade, leave me alone. Fine, but make sure if you're gonna do that, you try to establish some longer term deals. My definition of a long term deal is at least six months. And when you do this with a brand, it allows you to have income that you can rely on receiving every single month, okay? Biggest tip for when you're trying to get brand deals like this is make sure you've got some kind of invoicing system in place so that every month you know when you need to send your invoice to the brand and you also know when they're gonna pay you. Otherwise, if you don't get organized with your invoicing, you'll end up with the same issue that you had before for in that yes you might have a long-term brand partner but you're not invoicing them enough to actually receive regular income right so make sure you're really organized when it comes to your invoices now the other recommended form of reoccurring revenue which is my personal favorite is of course memberships now a lot of you will know that i've had my own membership in the past i run various programs as well which allow me to have reoccurring revenue which has been a godsend for my business but a lot of you may not be aware of a really interesting platform that would allow you to turn your content into a membership with ease and that platform is Uscreen. So Uscreen is a video monetization platform which empowers video creators like myself, like you guys, to actually sell their video content and earn reoccurring monthly revenue as a result. So I personally like to think of Uscreen like a Netflix for content, right? So it allows you to pull your content together into this beautiful Netflix style website and charge your audience a monthly fee in order to get access to your amazing content. One of my favorite things about Uscreen is not only can you pull all your content into this amazing Netflix-like website, but you can also create a mobile application for your content too. So Uscreen is perfect for content creators who, as I mentioned, want reoccurring monthly revenue, but also who want to be able to build a membership site without having to worry about the tech elements of it. It really is an easy to use platform which is designed with creators in mind. So let me break down some of the other things that Uscreen offers that I absolutely love. So first of all, your membership site is fully customizable and very easy for you to create. So you can create websites, landing pages, your mobile application and fully customize it to ensure that it aligns with your brand and you can do it in a way that is really easy to use and really fun. You also get access to pre-built templates so that if you don't fancy doing all the fun design stuff, which I personally love, but let's say you don't love it, you can actually just use a template to make that whole process a lot easier for you. In addition to that feature, you also get access to things like analytics and marketing tools to ensure that you're getting the word out about your membership and to ensure that you're helping as many people as you possibly can through your video content. Uscreen also provides onboarding and marketing support, which is imperative to anyone who does not want to spend two hours crying at their laptop because they can't figure out how to do something. <laughs> you can tell that that's happened to me before, can't you? <laughs> And it gives you the opportunity to own your audience. And what I mean by that, I had to do this because obviously you're never gonna own another human being. But what I mean by that is it'll give you the opportunity to stop relying on social media sites in order for you to earn an income and instead move your audience onto a platform which allows you to communicate with them whenever you want and allows you to ensure that they're actually seeing the content that you're uploading. So if you're interested in checking out Uscreen, which I'm sure a lot of you will be, then make sure you head to uscreen.tv. I will of course include a link in my description. Now, I also promised you at the start of the video that I would give you a couple of examples of what you could do for different niches in order to establish reoccurring revenue. I'm gonna focus on the membership model using a platform like Uscreen. Let's say that you're a fashion creator. Well, one way that you can use a membership model to establish reoccurring revenue would be to create a membership using a platform like Uscreen where you are offering your audience a weekly rundown of the best finds in fashion. So you do an ultimate haul on a weekly basis of your favorite finds from all of the best, most popular shops and you allow people to get access to that on a weekly or a monthly basis and it can save them time from having to do all their shopping themselves because if they've got a similar taste to you, they can just watch your weekly video and know what to buy. If you're in an arts and crafts niche, you can create video content for your membership where you're encouraging people to paint along with you.
you or to create alongside you so maybe you let them know what you're going to be producing every single week they go out they buy the tools they buy the colors they need and then they create that piece of work with you right and then of course there's the education niche that's a niche that i'm in and i have a membership where i help content creators kickstart their career grow across multiple platforms and secure their first brand partnership deal so you can clearly see how an education niche would work perfectly with this membership format before we wrap up i do want to talk about the one biggest negative side effect to not establishing reoccurring revenue because i know that there'll be some of you who are still watching who'll be thinking i'm not really sold i don't really think i need to do any of this stuff right the number one issue that you're going to face if you do not establish a form of reoccurring income is cash flow management. Now, cash flow is quite literally the flow of cash that's coming into your business as a creator and out from your business as a creator. Now, if you do not have some form of reoccurring revenue, you will not be able to effectively know how much money you are going to have at the end of every month in your bank account. Now, that can cause issues in a multitude of different ways. First of all, how much you pay yourself and therefore whether or not you're able to meet your bills that month. Secondly, when you start to hire a team, like maybe you've got a video editor, when you know you have to pay them every single month, but you don't know how much money you're gonna have every single month, it can cause quite a lot of stress and quite a few issues. And third, you might get to a stage where you're ready to invest in your content creator business and you might want to upgrade your equipment or buy a new laptop. Think about how difficult it will be for you to make the decision to make that investment when you don't know how much money you're going to earn next month and therefore you have no idea if you investing this amount of money in a new camera is worth it for you in the long run, right? When I started to establish reoccurring revenue for my own business, I was able to overcome all of those challenges and it unlocked so much growth for me. So I'm really hoping that you take my advice on board and you're able to experience the same thing. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, I recommend watching this one. It's all about TikTok, but specifically how you can get more views on TikTok. So it's a great video for anyone who's already on TikTok or who's considering joining the platform because it'll really help you understand how to actually get more views and get growth. As I mentioned, if you feel like establishing some reoccurring revenue and you want to create your own membership, I do recommend Uscreen. I will put a link to uscreen.tv in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. I can't wait to speak to you in my next video.